Hi, Shalom, Shalom, to God, praise our Benawi, Yahweh, by Hashem, on Shaq, Yahweh, by Hashem, Kakadash. Peace and blessings to our blood ones baptized in the new covenant for remission of sins. And today, I want to go into uh, Exodia, as you see on the screen, which this guy's name is Exodia, which he comes from the cartoon show Yu Gi Oh!, which I used to watch when I was little. Right, which I, I liked that show for a point in time in my life, which was funny. But um, Exodia is an Egyptian god, man. All right, and on the cartoon, Exodia, he's uh, basically bound in a spirit realm, and what his body is uh, separated, and uh, it's basically he has uh, uh, basically wounds unto death or whatnot, to where what his body is separated. Right, but he got he doesn't actually uh stop existing. But because he's a uh supposed to be a god so he can regenerate or whatnot. But um Exodia as you can see he has that uh snake on his head, man. Right, so Exodia was based off the uh, Egyptian god Osiris, right, which Osiris body was uh chopped up in parts and what they tried to uh gather all his body parts and bring them back together. So what they can resurrect him, all right? Just like uh, Isis was uh, supposed to be his wife, which uh, she was the one to uh, recover his, his, his body parts and whatnot, so she can bring him back to life. Right? And what uh, he was basically sent to the underworld, right? And according to uh, the book of Tobit, uh, chapter eight, verse three, it says. Uh, the evil spirit fled into Egypt, man, and the angel bound him, man. So we have evil spirits uh, fleeing to Egypt and being bound in Egypt, right? Just like on a cartoon, Yu-Gi-Oh, you have the evil spirit, Exodia, being what? Bound in Egypt, man. All right, so uh, it's in our Bible that speaks about what evil spirits being bound in Egypt. So what evil spirits love Egypt, man. All right, let's get some more scriptures because it's more scriptures that refer to the Lord um, basically judging the gods of Egypt. All right, this is um, Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, where I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt will I execute judgment. I am the Lord, man. So the Lord said he was going to execute judgment on their gods too, man. And what, that's why we read in Apocrypha about uh, various angels, what, binding uh, evil spirits up in Egypt, man. The Lord executed judgment on their gods too, man. All right, so Exodus 12 and 12, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt will I execute judgment on the Lord. Verse 25, the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saith, Behold, I will punish the multitude of Noah and Pharaoh and Egypt with their gods. With what? With their gods. With who? With their gods and their kings, even Pharaoh, and all them that trust in them. So the Lord said he was going to punish even Pharaoh, Egypt, and their gods, man. So that's what the Lord said he's going to do. Punish Pharaoh, Egypt, and their gods, man. All right, and what? Exodia is what? Bound uh, in Egypt. All right, so uh, Shalom.